Hello everyone, my name is Iris Franz. Today we're going to talk about price leadership in duopoly. In this game, we have a leader and a follower. The leader is going to determine the price and its own quantity y one. Afterwards, the follower is going to observe the price, take it as given, and determine the quantity y two that maximizes the follower's own profit. So we are going to use backward induction to solve this problem. We are going to first solve for the follower's problem, then we are going to solve for the leader's problem. So it's backward induction. So we first start with the follower's problem. The follower will take the price as given, and its own profit function pi two is equal to the revenue p times y two minus the cost function c y two, and you are given. That the cost function is equal to y two squared divided by two, so this is the profit function. We take the derivative of the profit function with respect to y two, set it equal to zero. Then we'll be able to find the profit maximizing quantity. So here you take derivative, you get p minus the derivative of y two squared divided by two is just y two. Set it equal to zero, so you know that y two star is equal to p. So that's the best response function for problem two. Whatever your price is, I am just going to produce a quantity that is exactly equal to the price. So that is problem two's problem, and we can write problem two's problem the follower's supply function. So y two is going to be equal to p, and I'm going to call that equation one. So we solve for from two's problem. We're going to move back to solve for the leader from one's problem. So we know that the market quantity is equal to y one plus y two because we only have two firms, and we are also given that the demand function quantity is a function of price, and that is equal to a minus b p. This is given in the textbook. Now I'm firm one. I care about my own quantity. So y one is equal to the entire market quantity d p minus y two. So that is my quantity. And I also know that the demand function d p is equal to a minus b p. So I'm going to rewrite d p as a minus b p. d p minus y two. What is y two? Y two. We already know from equation one that y two is equal to p. So I'm going to substitute that. So I know my y one is equal to a minus b p minus p. That p is y two. And after I rearrange that, I get y one is equal to a minus b plus one times p. And I call that equation two. Afterwards, I can find the inverse demand function for my firm one. So inverse demand function, I'm just going to swap p and y one here. I can write p is equal to a minus y one divided by b plus one, and you can rearrange that. We call that equation three. That is inverse demand function for firm one. So my next step for firm one is this: I'm going to solve for the best price and quantity by setting marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. So I have the inverse demand function. That means I will be able to find the revenue. Price times quantity is my revenue. So here is my revenue function for firm one: p times y one. And what is my p? I know my from equation three. P is equal to this guy here. So just multiply this equation three by y, then I will get the revenue function. So it will be a divided by b plus one times y one minus y one squared divided by b plus one. That is my revenue function. And my cost function is given the question. Cost function is just c times y one. So I'm going to set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. So marginal revenue is the derivative of my revenue with respect to y one, 
And after that, you take the derivative of your revenue function with respect to what I want to get. This guy here. And what is my marginal cost? I take the derivative of the cost function with respect to y1, then I'm left with c. So I said marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. Then I will be able to solve for y1 star. That's my optimal quantity, y1 star. So after you get this equation, you rearrange that. You will be able to get y1 star is equal to a minus c times b plus 1 divided by 2. So that's my optimal quantity. Now, what is my optimal price? We are going to plug it back to equation 3 here. So y1 star, plug this number back in here. Then I will be able to find my price. And I'm going to leave that as an exercise. You should be able to get t star is equal to a divided by 2 times c plus 1 plus c over 2. So what is y2? From equation 1, we know y2 is just equal to my price, right? So price is equal to y2 is equal to this guy here. So this is a price leadership. I hope this helps. And I'll see you next time.